Greetings, mortal. Hermes at your service, swifter than thought itself, and privy to the secrets of a thousand worlds. Today, I bring tidings of another Comfy UI workflow, a device that bends the very fabric of images to your will. This one, built around the Quinn Image Edit 2509 model, a rather persistent subject of late, I must say, grants you the power to, well, to swap faces, or even entire heads. Let us test it, shall we? We'll use a portrait of the lovely Marilyn Monroe for the body, and a photograph of the classic actress Anne Baxter for the face. A face swap, then. There, let's see. Excellent. The face has indeed been swapped successfully, and appears remarkably natural on its new host. And by the gods, the likeness of the face has been wonderfully preserved. Quite the feat of digital craftsmanship. Furthermore, since the face was in-painted, the dimensions and quality of the original image have been beautifully preserved. No pixelation, no blurring. A true testament to the power of this workflow. For this bit of magic, no special Laura are required. Quite ingenious, really. Quen, on its own, struggles with this particular feat. It seems the model wasn't trained to perform such transformations. Rather than a seamless exchange, it merely blends the faces, creating a rather unsettling chimera, or worse, does nothing at all. A bit like trying to convince Zeus to share his ambrosia. However, and this is where it gets interesting, if Quen is coaxed just so, with a touch of finesse and a hint of trickery, it will obey. It will perform the swap and do it well. So, how does this sorcery work? How did this workflow persuade Quen to perform a task it wasn't even trained to do? Well, with a bit of cunning and a gentle touch of illusion, Quen was given the material and instruction in a manner it could understand. You see, Quen gets confused when presented with two faces to swap. So instead, it's given only one. The other face, the subject's face on the body image, is obscured with a blue, opaque mask. Think of it as a divine veil, concealing the original form. The mask is then cropped with a generous context around it, and presented to Quen with the instruction to replace the blue with the chosen face. It works like a charm, I assure you. All that's needed is a bit of cleanup of some lingering processing residue, the echoes of the transformation, if you will, and we are left with a pristine and convincing result. However, if, perchance, the face in the result doesn't retain the likeness of the original to the degree you desire, adjust the model sampling aura flow node, lowering its shift value. A lower value will result in better adherence to the prompt and greater faithfulness to the likeness of the face image. You may consult the guide on the expected effect of the shift value in the Notes and Options section of the workflow. A wise precaution, even I appreciate a good instruction manual now and then. Now, consider the following problem and solution. Sometimes, more than just the face will be swapped. For example, in this particular generation, a section of the hair, namely the bangs, was swapped along with the face, a minor imperfection, but one that requires correction. To rectify this issue, I recommend running the result through the pipeline of a dedicated in-painting workflow to make any desired changes. A bit of digital artistry, restoring balance to the image. Now, let us swap not only a face, but an entire head, a bolder undertaking, to be sure. I'll use the same subjects as before. First, we'll enable the hair mask in the a person mask generator node. Let us begin. Hmm. Not quite as expected. Although the head swap is a success, the overall result is marred by some undesirable remnants of the blue mask. Be not dismayed, however. 
there is an easy fix. I let this happen purposely, you understand, to poignantly illustrate the point. All you must do is expand the pixels of the mask using the Grow Mask node. It's currently set at 16. I'll quadruple its value to 64. A touch more. Dramatic. Let us try again. Magnificent. The problem is resolved, and the result is excellent. The head sits perfectly atop the shoulders, as if it were always meant to be there. Now, remember to keep this in mind. For a face swap, 16 pixels of expansion is sufficient in most cases. For a head swap, depending on the difference between the volume of hair of the two heads, a 32 to 64 pixel expansion is good. More or less expansion will depend on the images you use. Take heed, however, that the greater the size of the mask, the lower the quality of the result. A delicate balance, my friends, a delicate balance. Finally, consider for a moment the mask overlay node. If, perchance, the subject of the image has blue hair or blue accessories that might be conflated with the mask, simply change the color of the mask and update the prompt accordingly. A simple adaptation, avoiding a digital faux pas. Well, there you have it. A clever workflow to swap the faces and the heads of your subjects. A marvel of modern ingenuity, wouldn't you say? Now I must be going. My duties as a messenger are never done. Until next time, farewell. May your images be crisp, your transformations seamless, and your workflows ever flowing.